Hey, this is MassX with a brand new One Punch Man The Strongest video. And now that we officially know Child Emperor is going to truly be our first SSR Plus banner, the question arises, is this one you should be going after or should you be waiting and holding because of the change in the summoning system? Well, we're going to go ahead and talk about Child Emperor in great length and discuss the pros and cons in reference to this character. Now again, you've, if you have this character, you know it's a high-tech hero. Immunity, robot support, follow-up and heal are its roles. Now it's skills, let's talk about that. Attacks a single target with two consecutive strikes for 120% of attack. For the ultimate, attacks all enemies with five consecutive strikes for 250% of attack damage and reduces max HP of the target by 20% for two rounds. HP will be immediately reduced and for that passive okay when battle begins increases crit of his row by 25% for two rounds permanently grants his row immunity against burn field injury internal injury which is really nice and it permanently increases the HP now for the awaken passive for SSR plus this is where it gets interesting when battle begins summon one underdog man robot lasts three rounds underdog man robot will inherit 100% basic attack of child emperor after allies action underdog man robot will deal direct damage to enemy with the lowest HP ratio by 200% of attack and heals an ally with the lowest HP ratio by 25% now this character is definitely not a, a must get SSR plus. Let's just say that right out of the gate, end the story. But what happens if you don't have, like let's say ATT and you need a primary AOE DO DPS? Well, if you wanna use him for that, due to his follow up, his heals, his buffs, he does have usability for quite some time in the game and is not a bad consideration if you need that for your team. It's really gonna depend on what you're looking forward to doing as the release of SSR Pluses continues and maybe this is the right choice for you. Now, the Ultra Ultimate with Child Emperor, the ult attack goes up to 300%. The reduced max HP goes up to 30% and the extreme pass passive, that crit rate goes to 30%, which is always nice. And of course the um, SP passive goes to 35%. Now when you're gearing this character, you're gonna be looking at attack percentage and crit rate gear. That's, that's really what you want to do with them, especially if you're using this as a primary DPS. And primal is probably gonna be your best option I mean, again, gunner, but unless you got a really good set of gunner, good luck. Or of course, a broken set like we always talk about. If you, you know, the stats that work best for your character are more important than having a completed set. So always keep that in mind. Buff gear for your hero, you're gonna be looking at attack, attack percentage. For high tech, you're gonna be looking at attack and crit percent, since we've been talking about crit. And for that S class, you're gonna be looking at attack and maybe damage rate. So let's talk about this character and why you would even consider it, okay? Um, probably the strongest AOE DPS. So if you don't have ATT, it is a consideration. He provides immunity against debuffs, most notably force field, of course. That's a big plus with this character. If you like follow-up type characters, then of course you're gonna love Robot Doggo with not only the follow-up attacks, but also giving that extra boost to heal to your lowest ally. So yeah, the, he does have some really nice points to him. And even the doggo does continue on if CE does die, so that's not too bad. So yeah, and you know, let's be honest, there isn't a whole heck of a lot of good high-tech units out there. Keep in mind though, the KS is gonna be important. It's gonna be important for most SSR Plus units to really maximize them. But in the end, if you don't have a significant DPS and you have the extra tickets to pull, Child Emperor is not a bad option but again, not a necessity. So keep it simple, you know? If you have a DPS right now, 
you can conserve your tickets and wait for the ones that are going to be absolute must guests for SSR pluses. And if you need someone, you don't have ATT or someone else you can put in that spot that you think will be effective. Well, you could be one of the few that goes after Child Emperor and really maximizes that character. And you should be able to get some use out of this character for some time. So with that, let me know if you're thinking of even pulling on this character or if you're going to hold Pat until we get past that first SSR, SSR Plus banner. With that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a great day.